Energy and Gus the Gopher, Energy's mascot. You gotta love him. He's here to tell us about National Safe Digging Month along with Ann as well. And uh, Gus has a few tricks up his sleeve to show us. So that's gonna be exciting. Ann, thank you so much for being here. Gus, thank you for being here. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> We're so glad to be here and so glad to be able to share this information with you today. What, what message are you wanting to get out for National Safe Digging Month? Well, April every year is National Safe Digging Month. Digging month and the emphasis during that time is to call 811. Of course, call 811 any time of year when you're digging. Uh -huh. But in April, people start planting and outdoor projects, so it's just a good month to bring the attention to the fact that for your safety, you need to call 811. Give us a uh uh, idea of how unsafe it can be if maybe you decide to build a garden in your yard or, or dig up a little garden in your yard. What kind of problems, danger can you run into? Well, there are many utilities that could mm -hmm. be in your yard. And even though you think you might know where they are, they're they're very hard sometimes, and that's why we have professionals that come out to mark them. It's very hard for the homeowner to know where they are. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't want to cut a gas line and have a gas leak. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to cut your electric line and then lose power to your home, or cut your cable and lose your TV or your internet. And sometimes those lines are so close together that there's a potential for cutting all of them at one time. So by marking with the various different colors, and you see Gus has his flag, so uh -huh. yellow is natural gas, and then the other utilities have their colors. Okay. But the, the really good thing about it is the people that come out and do the marking, they know exactly which ones to look for, and they can, you know, a lot of times in your yard you may think, well, I don't, I've got 10 feet or whatever, and you may not have that much before you actually have a utility line there, so mm -hmm. it's always good to get it marked. It, yes, it is, and I know Gus is helping you get out the message, and uh, he said he has a, f a few tricks that he can show he us. Likes show us what you dance. got. He's he's a, he's kind of the dancing machine, <laughs> and then he drops his flag. Gus, <laughs> he'd rather dance than hold his flag, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, Gus has been a great mascot. Uh -huh. He gets a lot of attention to to help us get our safety message out. You know, we're we're. We're going around, you know, with this message mm -hmm. on our board to call 811. It's really easy. Um, 811, you call them 48 hours before you're going to dig in your yard, and they have to come out and mark it. Also, by calling 811, it is the law. Mm -hmm. It is a Louisiana law to call before you dig. So that's another thing. About 50% of the homeowners don't even realize and don't call us sometimes. Yeah, exactly. So but it, but um, it is the it law. Is very and uh, 48 hours is not that long to wait for no. someone to come out. Mm -mm. And not check for your, your safety. Yard. <laughs> uh, anything else, Ann, that you'd like to mention? I know you guys are traveling and around uh, the Twin Cities, getting the message out, uh, along with Gus. Gus. Yes, well, Atmos Energy, our safety is our number one priority, and that's what the message is with this. So we want to make sure that during the month of April and at all times that you call 811 to be safe. And if you have any questions for us at Atmos Energy, you can go on our website. We've got a lot of great safety information out there, and also you can call us at our 800 number if you have any questions about Atmos Energy. So we're just really glad to be the natural gas provider here in this area and make a great product available to our people. Well, thank you for all you're doing to keep people safe. Anything else, Gus? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember to call us, right, Just Gus? remember to call us. Hey, Great job. Up. Thanks for bringing <laughs> Gus, and thank you, Ann, for joining us. Thank you, Ashley. And coming up next, we'll have more Louisiana Living After the Break. Stay with us. Stop.